Are you frustrated in your relationship? Are there concerns that your partner isn't just talking to you? Of course, communication is key to any successful relationship. And here with us now to break it down on how to get your partner to open up is relationship expert Rick Brown. How's it going? Good. Thank Good you. deal. Let's get straight to it. The root of the problem. What would you say it would be for if someone's not opening up? Well, first of all, we need to know it's impossible not to communicate. So even when people are quiet, not talking with one another, they're actually communicating. They may be communicating anger, boredom, disinterest, unhappiness, but they are communicating. But if your partner is not talking to you, it's probably not because they're genetically defective. Right. It's because at some place inside themselves, they just don't feel safe. They feel like maybe if I start talking, it'll cause an argument. Mm. Somebody will get upset with me. Somebody might not like what I have to say. I'm afraid to say what I really feel. And so people don't talk because it doesn't feel safe. So how do you get them to break the ice, you know, just to get over that hurdle? How do you open them up? Well, what we want to do is recognize that it's not so much what you're talking about that is important. It's how you're talking about what you're talking about. Yeah. In other words, can we find a safe way to talk with each other so whatever the issue is, whatever the problem is, whatever the concern, can we find a safe way to, to hold that? And what I try to teach people is when someone begins to talk, one of the best things you can do is look at them and actually just mirror back their words say their words back. So for example, if I'm telling you, I really feel like you just don't listen to me when I talk. Right. Then I would want to look at you and say, so you really feel like I don't listen to you when you talk. And I'm sure that has to be one of the things that ends up helping people feel a little bit more comfortable because it, it makes them feel like you're actually listening. That you're actually listening. I remember a, a psychiatrist friend here who for years used to refer couples to me because he didn't work with couples. And one day he called me and he said, I have an unusual request. I said, what is that? He says, would you be willing to see my wife and I? I said, well, come on in. What do you think her complaint was? He just doesn't listen. He doesn't listen. <laughs> He's a wonderful man. He just, it, whenever she would talk, he would start to analyze or right. interpret or tell her how she should feel or how she shouldn't feel that way. And so when she said that, she said, I just don't feel like you listen to me. He started to do that. He started to analyze, well, honey, that's because you do this or you do that. I said, well, well let's try something different. I said, just try saying those words back. He looked at her and he said, so the reason you don't talk to me is because you feel like I don't listen to you. Cha-ching, the light bulb went off, huh? <laughs> and then he said, well, can you say more? And she said a little bit more. And he said, could you say more? And then she said, you know, when you can't talk to your husband, after a while the marriage begins to feel pretty lonely. Right. And she started to tear up. He was shocked. He was shocked. Gotcha. But it was about really making it safe so she could say those things. All right. Well, thank you so much for that expert advice.